Say we gon' get it done, we gon' sauce it I don't fuck with ones, I got options Yeah, you know I came for them dollars If they ain't no, we gon' floss it Fuck, if they ain't no, we gon' floss it Fuck, if they ain't no, we gon' floss it No more made for that real life Everybody, this is another one AZ 126 bringing all the artists in AZ. Today we got Alex Knight for you. Alex, introduce yourself real quick. Tell them where to find you. What's up? My name is Alex Knight. As you guys know, you guys can find me on Instagram at I am Alex Knight. YouTube only Alex Knight. Everything else only Alex Knight. And website only Alex Knight.com. The internet be fucking shit up on us sometimes. So it's like you want to put one thing. When one motherfucker like, takes yeah. your takes your name and shit, like and you don't want to put like zero and one and shit. Instagram. You don't want to be Alex Knight too. No, you hell no. Like you have the underscore, the fucking <laughs> dash, and you be like, damn, like he got my good shit, and he's not even doing shit with his account. You know? Yeah, <laughs> nah. I, I looked up Arizona. It was Arizona eclectic something. I don't know. I know was, you type one letter wrong. You go oh, to really? a different website, and that website's like selling old crafts and stuff like that. They got fucked up. I'm gonna try to buy them. Yeah. <laughs> you should, you should, you should. Try to buy them shares real quick. <laughs> so like I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so you work for me now. So go ahead and edit my website because it's still ass. But. <laughs> All right, man. So you say you've been doing this for four years now. Yeah, I've been in uh, music for about four years. Um, Started when I was about like 17, 18. Where the um, transition come from just like a, uh, I'm gonna do this cause I'm hanging out with my homies, there's something to do to like, I could try to make some money doing this. I could try to at least do it enough to get my name out there. Yeah, yeah. Like it started out like just like, if it's always like just fun, but, yeah. and then I guess like, you know, when you just keep taking it like other directions and shit, you just meet new people and you have a good time doing it. And then like one thing to another, you like, you're like, what the fuck? I'm doing shows now. Like, <laughs> was there anybody that was just like, look, man, you got to do this. Go make this song or something. Oh like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. There's um my manager like that first thing like, I ever talked to me about doing music. His name is Edwin Lobos. Yeah. And. Um, you know, he was telling me, he's like, yo, I want to do this music thing. He's like, I'm starting a, a local independent label. He's like, you know, I want you. I want to I wanna take you on. I want to be your manager. And I was like, cool. Like, dope. And then, like, over time, we just, like, evolved. And, you know, this year, I uh, um, I wanted to put myself as an artist, as Alex Knight. Because yeah. I, used to, I used to go by Neglect. And people used to know me by that shit. But I changed my name to Alex Knight. Because, like, I just want people to call me by my first name. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> what you mean, man. Sometimes this shit just rolls off, and people like that. Yeah. Like, uh, whenever I answer the phone at work, I'm Corey James. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so then, eventually, they'll just start saying both, because you say it so many times. So, yeah. it catches on. Damn, man. Yeah, no, four years back, even when you think of it right now, four years back was 2012. That, that really was crazy. The, yeah. You're making me feel old. <laughs> yeah, we were getting old, man. Dude. That's just how life is, man. But four years back was 2012. Think of like in 2012, you already probably like, you know, I'm grown. I know what I'm doing and everything like that. But then four years passes and life humbles people. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I was a piece of shit when I was like 21. <laughs> so, you know, life humbled me, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. So I'm doing this thing now, interviewing these artists, just going place to place. You actually came through to my spot. A lot of people don't do that, yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. that shit. But I will go out, interview anybody who makes music. Uh, I know a lot of people have studios that their name isn't getting out there. Yeah. You got a studio around here that you go to, or do you do a lot of mixing yourself with your manager, anything like that? Um, as far as like music production, like, I work with two producers mainly. Um, one producer, his name is The Great Gillespie. Uh, he does a lot of my... Uh, music right now as well as another producer named B Franklin and uh, basically just record with them um, you know they kind of take the studio with them wherever so you remember uh, 
I feel like before I go off to the next spot, I feel like that's just the move of the that's the move of the decade. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just taking all your shit with you to yeah. go somewhere. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. if you can't do that, if you can't be mobile with your business, then there's no point in trying to yeah. sell it. Yeah, well, I mean, like half the shit you can just do on your computer. Yeah. And you just need like a couple things here and there. But if you know how to work the shit, then. You really don't need a degree for anything. I mean, no, you just like if you put in the hard work, like you can do it. Like yeah. you just have to learn it. It so, helps. Like YouTube, man. YouTube, you can learn anything off YouTube. I learned most of my math and chemistry off YouTube. Yeah, Khan Academy. What's up, yo? <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard of that word in a long time, but that dude got me through chemistry. Yeah, man. A lot of stuff you can just look up on YouTube. A yeah. lot of stuff you can just teach yourself. Well, um, well, like. After like my manager like talked to me, um, he uh, so like he had his label, you know, independent label, Sins of Life Entertainment, and um, you know he has me on there as an artist right now, and uh, you know we just uh, started doing shows and stuff, started recording in different places. I mean it was crazy, like the first show like he ever like got me, yeah. like I have never performed ever before. This is a long time ago though. This is like on oh, somebody else, and. Um, He's like, yo, I got you, I got you a show, French Montana, and I'm, I'm sitting here like, <laughs> the fuck, man, <laughs> how the fuck did you do that? The first but, show, uh, you think like, yeah. fucking bookstore. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking like, like fucking Barnes & Noble or some <laughs> shit, but, but I was like, cool, so we just went with it, and then uh, from there, we just kind of just did our thing, and now we're just like, still, we just, we actually stopped doing like a lot of bigger shows. What's something you learned though from that being your first show? Did you learn that it was like something you could just? Sounds I like learned it was, f man, that was so fun, like, the feeling I, I, I felt like doing that, that was fun. So I wanted more, and I was like addicted, it was like drugs. So it was fun for sure. It had to be like drugs, cause it's like yeah. you get real high the first time. <laughs> yeah. Then, you know, the next time you're like, this ain't the same. Yeah. So it's like, what was your? Do you remember what the second show you did? The second show was, um, it was French Montana, then we did 420, uh, with Kitty, Baby Bash, and, um, Joe Budden. And so it's a lot of Kitty. There was a lot, of, yeah, yeah, I used to listen to a lot of Kitty. I still listen to Kitty. I yeah. think I fuck with Kitty a lot. He's dope. I don't know. I can't remember, but there's a lot of shit. A lot of like shows and then like I was like you know I was like you know I just want to stop doing like all the shows and I kind of just want to like you know do me I want to I want to do like a new me and come out with like a different um, view like a perspective in music and um, so we just stopped for like a year and my own videos and my own pictures so that's what I've been doing just working on my own videos and pictures and photography and doing our own shit. I just wanted to get good at that first. Like, Cause everybody grows like through time and shit. Like yeah. everybody has like different experiences and like, you know, like three years could go by, like I'm, I'm gonna be a different person, you know? Yeah. So like, I, I want this, this is how I feel now. So I want to do this now. You think you know? old artists should do that? Uh, artists, like I mean, yeah. Yeah, no, it depends. Like, you know, cause some artists, you know, they, I don't know. They blow up with how they are, and that, and they kind of stay. True. They stay in that that realm, which is dope, because they get to stay like how they feel the whole time. And but over time, I think they, uh, you know, they change. And uh, but you know, like, anybody that had Lil in front of their name back in like two thousand two, it's yeah. like we can't call you Lil. No more. <laughs> like I, I feel weird when I call yeah. Lil Wayne Lil Wayne because it feels yeah. like he's like thirty five now yeah. or some shit like that. Lil Wayne. Yeah, man. Yeah. But three years does change a lot, you know what I mean? Yeah, three years. even just a year could change yeah. a lot, like, man. People like, like you said, year 21 was a yeah. crazy year for me, man. I don't know about you, but that was a crazy, like, good and bad year for me. It was like self-reflection year. Yeah, that's I basically, that like, sounds like a yeah. good 21 year, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the first, the first couple months were real good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then you kind of start thinking to yourself, like, all right, I got to start getting my shit together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For sure, a lot of shit happened. Um, 
How was that? Um, so you have a show going on at a coffee house on the 17th. Yeah, this Thursday on the 17th at Sozo Coffee Shop. We're doing a uh, charity event to raise money for American Cancer uh, Society just to help raise money so all the proceeds you know, go to them or a portion of them. And uh, shout out to the play movement you know, for having me. And, uh, you know, I always believe in me. Doing oh, okay. That. It's play. I, I don't know why I was thinking learn right now. It's play like, okay. Oh, yeah. The, the I'm going to try to link them too. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know anything. I don't know what's... Oh, yeah. okay, for sure. Yeah, they're called the play movement. Um, good company. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, good movement that they have. And um, uh, we just did the Papusa Festival on... Uh, what day was that? I'm trying to remember. So on Sunday, I don't know. Where's Papusa? It's <laughs> a <the> fucking. <laughs> I ain't trying to lie. You're like, to... <laughs> you're like, I don't want to talk shit about Papusa hey. right now. But hey. I know you get a lot of those questions hey. like, like, where's Papusa? Yo, when I, like, <laughs> I when, when my manager told me he was like, you're performing at the Papusa Festival, I was like, dope. I was like, well, what is that? <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's a Mexican food. Or no, no, Salvadorian food. Okay. I don't know 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But Salvadorian. And um, I didn't get to try one, so I can't be like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Northwest South America. I can't uh, be like, <laughs> that shit was bomb. Because I didn't get to try one while I was there. Because everybody was standing in line and shit. Like, Where was it? Where was it? Was it Tempe? Festival. Tempe? Yeah. Tempe be having all kinds of shit Tempe going has on, man. Everything. Like, if you come to Arizona, move to Tempe or like somewhere by Scottsdale. My recommendation. You could just walk to places, you know what I mean? You, you could just walk. walk and you could find something going on in your own backyard. When you live out in well, <laughs> where am I at right now? I'm in Avondale, yeah. the <laughs> good years, the Glendales, the surprises. Uh, good luck, man. <laughs> have fun at Ultra Star. Yo, I just no hold on, hell no. For everybody that knows on the west side, right? That shit used to be something else. I forget it was Harkins. Yeah. And it then it went to Ultra Star and now it's fucking Digiplex. Yeah. What is that bullshit? Remember people used to come out to the front and like, you're about to watch Incredibles. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, get your fucking pussy ass out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we don't give a fuck about that. Get out of here. Fuck people you. people be Digimon. yelling at them and stuff like that. You're like, come on, man. I know. I don't want these people to yell at you. You don't want these people to yell at you. God damn, yeah. I don't know why. I feel like that place pulls in it pulls good in, money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. What else is there to do out there? It's a movie theater, y'all. And next door is a bowling alley. Yeah. They think it's probably like, what the fuck are they? <laughs> yeah. That's... A surprise finest right there. Yeah, surprise Arizona's finest. That's an actual city. Mm -hmm. It's called Surprise. Yeah, so. but you know that ain't like Papusa. Right, Papuska. Papusa. 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 I I swear to God. All right, so random to... back to that yeah. Papusa. Like, how was Papusa. how was that show? Like, it was dope. What he told you about that shit. We had AZ Party Rockers out there with DJ Dario. Um, you know, DJ. Um, and that was dope. You know, I had a. Um, my whole team come with me. Also, Sadie uh, Rouse also performed, and uh, we performed some of our songs together. She's like an artist that I fuck with heavy, um, definitely on our squad. And uh, her music is produced by the great Gillespie as well. And uh, we're all just like a cool little team. Like, um, if you um, could put a, a type of beat that the great Gillespie makes. What would you say? Like, if I had to say, like, if he was like someone, like, yeah. if I had to pick? I guess not compare him, but, like, uh... He has, uh... Like, you know how some people have, like, dreamy beats where it's, like, a bunch of, like, yeah. like starry kind of beats, things like that, and you have some people that have... He actually does it all, like, because cause Sadie is, like, she's a singer, an R&B singer, so, like, he does, like, that style of music, and then, uh, like, I do, like, more, like, rap music, and, like, he just like does it all. Like when we okay, make, so when when we make music. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you're producing, it's pretty much it's not like I just produce for rappers and shit like that. You, yeah. You produce and everything out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically. Okay. Like. I didn't know. Yeah, we just do like whatever, like whatever he I'm feeling or whatever he's feeling. 
like we just do it right there in the moment and then like we just jump right in and start recording music and then the same thing with like B. Franklin like when I'm when he's like making stuff with me like we do it right on the spot and then right after we just jump in the booth and then uh, play the tracks and see how they turn out. I feel you. What do you, I don't know man, when I'm thinking about it because like people like DJ Mustard, they got like a specific type right. of beat. He has like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and there's always like snaps or a clap or something like that. I wonder why people get caught in that. Maybe that's just what sells, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, like, like I mean, you know, like, I guess as far as like DJ Mustard, like, he, you know, he, he actually, I feel like he created that sound and, yeah. and, and it was appealing, you know, and that shit was like dope as fuck. So everybody was just like jamming to it and he just continued. I was like, you know, right that way, you know? Yeah. You know, if it's working, write that shit. And uh, but he does a lot of mustard. Does a lot of uh, other shit too. That's what I'm talking about. I yeah. want to hear some more. Like when I hear DJ Mustard on the, I want to be surprised yeah. when I hear his name on the beat. Yeah. Like, damn, this shit's cold. You know what yeah. I mean? Like now, I feel like when I hear that snap and shit, I'm like, okay, this is a mustard beat. You know yeah. what I mean? So I don't know. I'm not saying they bad beats, but that's something I, I just want to like be surprised. a sig- like a signature. Like, yeah. like you know that beat is that person's beat, or when you hear like. Yes, yeah, I'm not sure they don't. I'm not sure they see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel you. Dog, I don't know why. That just reminds me of like back when I was in high school. You had like all the mixtape uh, oh, producers and stuff. Like, <laughs> DJ drama. <laughs> or, what was that? <laughs> DJ Rockstar. Uh, uh, right yeah, before yeah. it got all quick and DJ Ill Will. DJ Ill Will. You had cinema. You had all kinds of good ones, <laughs> man. And or when you like cinema, bootleg cinema. some shit. Like back then. <laughs> Damn, where'd you find this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. You be looking at it like, what? Who gonna ask Hot me? Hotnewmixtapes.com. <laughs> Damn, Damn, I remember that. Hot new yeah. mixtapes. I'll be listening to Chris Brown and shit, and it'll be like, hot to all over the world. And I'd be like, hotnewmixtape.com. You'd be like, what the fuck? I we have the newest, <laughs> hottest songs. <laughs> fuck up the whole vibe and shit. Yeah, man. Download music that point is a chance, and you could fuck up your whole computer and your whole system downloading music. Crosswire. No, no, that's right now. Crosswire? Crosswire. No, LimeWire, that's what we're there talking about. There you go. I was using LimeWire, but I remember my homie Mikey, Mikey <laughs> Gonzalez, was using Crosswire. I'm like, what is this shit? <laughs> oh, shit. You remember those Lil Wayne songs that everybody had to have back in the day, man? He had a bunch of mixes. Oh, yeah. I think I had a, not even lying, like, I had... I'm trying to remember the ringtone. I think I was a freshman in high school, and I had the little Virgin mobile phone. <laughs> that shit's funny. Uh, it was a it was a Virgin mobile phone, and I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, Champion song. It's a Champion song. No, oh, no, we, we, the, we the Champion rings. Look at I got all my Champion rings. <laughs> <laughs> No, that was just, hella cool. Bro. I'm the bird man, and I'm the JR. Yeah. <laughs> Start with straight shots and then pop bottles. <laughs> yeah, man. Lil Wayne used to make all them good cuts, yo. Like, Nuck If You Buck remix was always my favorite. Yeah. It was like, Young Main for President. I probably paint the White House black if it was my residence. <laughs> that wasn't even his part, but that's just how it started. Yeah. Um, for sure. Damn, I don't even know. I want DJs to be as important as they were in 2005, whatever fuck that was, yeah. forever, man. Ever since yeah. then, DJs have really been like, I feel like they're making a lot of money now, like the Zaytovens oh, out there. Yeah. Like, even if they stop making rap music right now, they could go out and fucking be in yeah. some kind of high class orchestra or wherever they play pianos and shit. Oh, like hell that. yeah. Where do a lot they play of, pianos a lot of these, A lot of the, like, the mainstream songs that we hear now is like what the you got the singers on the hook and the beat drops. A lot of those are just like, I know them from like Rage and shit. Yeah. All, that's, are, that's like Skrillex and Diplo and what's that one group? Yeah, they're using a lot of old school beats and a lot uh-huh. of rave beats and music nowadays. Yeah. It's like, they just drop it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I'm gonna buy that to this shit for 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah. They got the chain smokers, they're super hot right now. You like chain oh. smokers? Yeah, yeah. I think they're dope. Yeah, they didn't make good songs. Good I mean, music. I only heard their like singles, but yeah. they're, they're they dope. haven't good to me. Yeah, yeah. They got their market for sure. So, oh uh, yeah. Um, I saw this girl on Twitter. She was like, 
I hate the chain smokers. Their mother. Uh, she was a cuss in my bad. Let me breathe that. Out. She was like, I hate the chain smokers. They're so unoriginal. They just make copy and paste music. There's no talent there, and I'm just saying, like, who the fuck they pissing off? You know what I mean? They make decent shit. Something to listen to every once in a while. There's always gonna be haters, man. You could be like the most talented fucking individual in the world. You could paint with your eyes closed, deaf, make. Hit um, records and there'll be a one person that I would have hated. started hating rap. You said paint with your eyes. Yeah. Like, no. Nah. Damn. <laughs> that ain't working. This, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, there really is gonna be hate. That's why I don't know. They say don't read comments. No. You read comments on anything you post? I mean, sometimes. I mean, like if it's there, like I'll read it and I'll be like, "That's how you really feel." <laughs> <laughs> Weird man. Like, how does it feel being like making music and stuff like that? in a world now like where there's so much music out there that so your shit could easily just be like a swipe uh missed it kind of thing like that like how does that, that show happen do you feel like it has to be more in-person shows now or i mean like i feel like you just have to have a lot of content and just keep producing content, content and content, content and content and content and just do you and then like I mean, like, if, if you keep if you keep going, then you just stop. Like, of course, like, it's not gonna get nowhere. But if you just keep going and going, I mean, eventually, like, you're gonna hopefully, like, it gets better. Yeah. You know, like, and you know, I, and I, I think like that I is, think half the people want to see how many videos you already have too. Yeah. You know what I mean, people judge like too quick to which is not a bad thing, but that's just the way it is. Like, yeah, I do the gross. same shit. Like, if I'm watching like YouTube and shit, like. If I see two of the same videos, one has 4,000 views, one has 70,000 views. <laughs> like, what video do you clip? Yeah, there's a reason 70, why this one got the 70. So yeah. you clip, like, you know, and people, sometimes people don't want to watch, like, an artist that has no numbers or whatever. So, like, everybody, like, trying to come up, like, that's probably, like, the hardest thing is just getting your name out there. But once you start going, I think it's, I think it'll fuck next. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I, I still have to, like, try and figure it out myself like I just all I want to do really is just like make music and that's it like I don't want to do anything else I just want to make music and then make videos and then like go do shows like that's all I want to do but like there's so much other shit that gets in the way sometimes yeah yeah life. I just want to send out these good vibes for people good. and yeah, hopefully yeah. this shit catches on just good vibes is fucking Hopefully it's I can buy exactly man, keep everything wavy, man. Wavy. Casey Veggies had a song like that. Y'all should listen to yeah. it. She's He's wavy. from California, but you know what? He got a spot here. I like Casey's. <laughs> Casey Veggies. Yeah. He got that list. But yeah. that's funny, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's dope though. That's why when I hear rappers like a list, I'm like, there you go, man. It don't matter. <laughs>